Microsurvey StarNet is a powerful least scores program for surveyors. The beauty about Microsurvey StarNet is that it is easy to use and learn. Simply create a project, input or import your measurements, run the adjustment, and view your report. If you're happy with the results, you can then export coordinates or a DXF file. Let's give you a quick overview of the program. When you start StarNet, you'll see the project manager, and from here you can create new projects, open an existing project, watch an overview movie, or go directly to the help system. We're going to open an existing project. When you open or create projects, you'll immediately see the data input file panel. In here, you can add DAT files, which are coordinate or measurement files that StarNet will use in, for your adjustment, or you can also add GPS vector files for StarNet to use. Built into StarNet is an, edit, is an editor, and with the editor you can make edits to your DAT files, add new information, comments, along the top, menu system and toolbars. If you go into the project options, from here is where you can control how your adjustment is going to be done by StarNet. You can define a 2D or 3D adjustment, define a coordinate system, a data scheme. You can define general parameters for the, the adjustment, define instrument standard errors, define what data gets output into the StarNet reports, some other options for some of the files that can be exported. You can define some tolerance or error checks that get made during the adjustment. Define GPS parameters for those who use GPS vectors. And finally, you can define some modeling parameters for StarNet to use. To run the adjustment, you simply push this button. When the adjustment is run, you'll see a processing summary page. And from here, the surveyor can review this and get a sense for the strength of their network or their adjustment. If there's errors in your DAT file or your GPS vectors, I'm going to manually introduce an error into this, this file. You'll be notified that there's errors. And down below here in the output window, StarNet will tell you where it's found an error. In this case, it's on line 16 and it'll also show you which record the error belongs to. If you double click the point, you can go and find it in your DAT file if you need to, but in the example we're using here, it's quite small, so we can just have StarNet automatically find it for me though, if I need to. Here I can see I accidentally typed A in front of the angle. I can run my adjustment again everything worked out fine this time. If I need to, I can look at a network plot. You can zoom in and out on here. You can inverse between points if you need to. Just by clicking on them. And if you're happy with the results, you can also go to the output tab and look at the listings. And I'm just going to make this window bigger. So as you can see, all of the windows can be resized inside of StarNet. If you're using a dual monitor system, you can move these windows to your other monitor. And the reporting in StarNet is very good. We believe we have the best reporting for least squares packages in the market. And the reporting is very important to the surveyor because by reviewing the report, you can have confidence that the adjustment was done correctly. So StarNet has very detailed reports and it helps you ensure that your data meets your tolerances and needs. If you're happy with your uh, output, you can also just simply click on the coordinates tab to view the adjusted coordinates. If your project has been set up to use GPS data or a grid system. You can also view lat and long values or ground information. 
and if you need to export coordinates you can simply just go to the output and tools menus and export the data that you need. So as you can see StarNet's very easy to use. It's very easy to customize and very easy to learn. Also included with StarNet are um, additional also available for StarNet are data collection converters. And what the converters can do for you is it can take your data collection data files from the field and that can include level data, total station data, or GPS data. And from there it can convert that data into compatible StarNet DAT files or GPS vector files that can be used in an adjustment.